I believe in special divine action. In fact, I believe in miracles. This forthcoming book that I have uh, called The Uncontrolling Love of God has a final chapter in, devoted entirely to miracles. When we talk about the incarnation of Jesus Christ, most people sort of uh, inherently think that incarnation must some be some unilateral imposition into the created order. And yet, I think that intervention in that sense is not a good way to think about it because, after all, God's always present to all things all the time. God isn't outside a closed system that needs to intervene. God's already there. So the incarnation, in my view, was an act of love that required cooperation. In fact, if you look at the, um, the Mary story, you know, Mary says, be it unto me. She cooperates with this. How exactly you understand the virgin birth, of course, there's a lot of different models. But the point is, the incarnation isn't an imposition of God from the outside. It's Jesus of Nazareth saying yes to God continually, perfectly, most Christians like me would say, throughout a lifetime, and therefore revealing in a powerful, special way, this love of God. And then I want to propose, even when he's crucified and laid in a grave, God resurrects him through persuasive love, not unilateral determination. In another one of my books called The Nature of Love, I go in a little bit of the details of how you could have a, a resurrection that is not coercive, is persuasive, in which the corpse, the body, and the spirit of Jesus can cooperate with God's pull for this resurrection.